All right, thanks, Jamie. Well, a group calling themselves the Tybee Alliance is taking the city of Tybee Island to court. The group made up of residents, business owners, realtors, and short-term vacation rental managers filed that lawsuit just last week. Well, the lawsuit is about the city's handling of short-term vacation rental properties. Our Mariah Congito breaks down why the group is suing. We're dealing with a few folks who want to turn a vacation island into a private island. Enough is enough. We have been trying to negotiate and show up to the meetings and be present in good faith. And it feels like every time we show up to the city council meetings, we are just not heard. In August of 2021, the city enacted a moratorium on STVRs with a goal to strike a balance between residents' quality of life and rental properties. What was originally expected to be a 90 day moratorium is now on its 14th month. It's been in place as the city works to write new STVR rules. It's so ambiguous. We, we really don't know what is the goal. The city has pushed forward with essentially the exact same thing they proposed six months ago. The chair of Tybee Alliance, Dusty Church, also works for Tybee Vacation Rentals, a company that manages about 300 properties. We're now forced to act in the courts. The lawsuit lists the city, mayor, and all council members as defendants. It reads that the city's original ordinance put in place in 2016 to regulate the use of residential dwellings as short-term vacation rentals is, quote, invalid and, quote, unenforceable because the code sections aren't consistent with Georgia law. State law prohibits rental properties from being required to be registered with a city. And the city of Tybee, as with many municipalities, has required that. But Tybee's ordinance says operators are required to register and obtain a separate license for each residential dwelling rental property it operates. And it doesn't stop there. Tybee Alliance members like Steve Buckner say the new restrictions the city is now trying to impose, like not allowing rentals in residential zones and a requirement for properties to rent out for at least 90 days of the year to maintain STVR status, is a, quote, attack on people's property rights. They're looking to prohibit uh, or take away licenses in our one where we put the uh, property, the rental property, our home would be required to rent for 90 days, uh, which might not fit our plan. Like Buckner, many people say they own an STBR to help them pay to live on the island. Realtor and plaintiff Jenny Rutherford says a lot of buyers are afraid to invest on Tybee now without a clear understanding of what's going to happen next. It feels like that this ordinance was put together by people who want to be able to choose their neighbors. And they feel like all properties should have the same right to rent regardless of where it's located or how many days it's rented for. And if you have a problem with parking and trash and with noise, then enforce it. They're trying to put a cap on who can and who can't have registrations, and that's not appropriate. That just There's just no way to enforce it uh, legally. Church also says there are more full-time residents on the island than ever before, and if the city is trying to get even more permanent residents... Vacation rentals are a major feeder for folks uh, to become full-time residents through eventual retirement into their rental properties. The council will have the second reading of the proposed ordinance on Thursday, which means the moratorium could come to an end. If they pass a second reading on Thursday, we will simply amend our complaint to include the additional violations of law that the city council has passed. Mariah Congito, WTOC News. WTOC reached out to the city of Tybee for a statement. Well, this statement says that the city of Tybee Island has no comment on pending litigation or upcoming city council meetings where short term vacation rentals will be discussed. The meeting is on Thursday. It's at 630 at the Public Safety Building. You can find a link to the lawsuit on our website, WTOC.com.